Oh, we're kind of, what game is this now? Month, month nine. Nine. Thank you. Nine. Game one, I guess. It's yep. one of the first to start. It is going to be Nids versus Nids. Whoa. Mm. Oh, that's crazy. Nid Bug action. Yes, it is Splinter another. Splinter Nids with. All it's kinds another Gene of Steeler cult, and I don't know if you guys watched the last time I did this, but basically the idea is the Gene Steeler patriarch guy infiltrates the planet, infects the people with his sexy tongue, and has a bunch of unholy offspring mutants that uh, come out of the woodwork and attack. I guess in this instance, it would be a human population of space marines who, under the genetic and psychic control of the Tyranid overlord, betray their comrades and stomp them into the dirt, taking over the colony, and then, for some reason, another group of Tyranids shows up that's, on the planet right after did. their victory to do battle. We're assuming some kind of... You're, you're disconnected from the hive mind somehow. Exactly. Just, yeah, maybe we're a renegade. Player. Let's say we're a renegade Tyranid unit. Just, we had like a psychic meltdown in there. Did you just say it was a Tyranid clerical error? <laughs> However you hey, want to justify it in your mind. mind the powerful, Tyranids took man, over the Space Marines. The Space that's, Marines that's are under their hard. control, and they are now fighting another that group of Tyranids. Now that we have uh, that out of the way, let's start on the left, and we'll just no. go through what we're packing here. We've got a Zoanthrope, as you see, with a group of 18 Hormigants. Uh, Carnifex and another Zoa. Hopefully we'll keep the little Synapse bundle tight over here. I actually had a deployment problem doing the Gene Stealer cult idea because they're not allowed to deploy within 12 inches of the Allied army, being that they're coming apocalypse. Yep. So the Flyrant with his Twin Link Devourers, the Brain Leech Worms, and then 12 inches away we got a little squad of Devastators with Last Cannons and the Sergeant Pack and a Signum. Two tax squads, just standard what you see. One guy actually, if you pay close attention, he's not packing his bolter, but that's just because we ran out of models. These dudes both have grav guns. Dreadnought has a twin linked blast cannon and a twin linked auto cannon. And then 12 inches from him, the freaky cult hybrid mutant guys are playing out of the Chaos Space Marine Codex, and they're coming in the back door there. And that's what I got. Uh, for Psychic, we're doing. I want to say, you know what, I should have looked this up before I started filming, but this one has Onslaught, yep. this one has The Horror, yep. Hive Tyrant has got Psychic Scream, and what was the other one? I think that's Onslaught. Okay, good deal. And my Warlord trait, I have two, because I'm getting a, a perk for this one. Jimbo's got one more territory than me. The first one I rolled, we both rolled Night Attacker, so that kind of negated itself. Nothing going on Both there. Both got night vision, it's night fighting, whatever. And the second one I'm taking as an extra warlord trait is feel no pain from a fly rent, because Jesus Christ, this is going to be nasty. All right, Jimbo, run oh, us through. Our one Chris. last thing. Infiltrated uh, group of gene stealers over here, too. That's the patriarch. There you with go. With his little group of six. And just to touch on the mission type, it's that BAO. Yeah. And it's scenario six, which is uh, Eternal War Crusade is primary. And then a modified Maelstrom for secondary in your standard picture. Cool. What Let's take a look at High Fleet Morlokai. Yeah, looking pretty good today. Got a brand new Hive Tyrant twin to join the mess mm. of flying, I don't know, death, doom, despair, dismay. Um, so yeah, two fly, two flyrants with the twin linked uh, devourers rocking the Electroshock Grub template as well. Uh, you got the Exocrine, the three warriors, the three biovores, which constitutes the living artillery node formation. In a secondary, uh, secondary uh, combined forces attachment, we have the Turbagon as HQ with 10 and 10 Termagants as you see them. So, I'm, please, do me some justice, Momagon. You always, you always hit mid applause turn one. <laughs> In reserve. I have the sprinkling of Taco Fun with two sets of Deep Striking Ripper Swarms. Fun. Fun times. Uh, my Warlord is the slightly darker version back here. Okay. Um, he ended up with the Night Fighting, like he talked about. Mm -hmm. As far as Psychic is concerned, I ended up with Warp Blast Onslaught, Onslaught Catalyst, and then the Turbogon pulled in Warp Blast. Cool. Everybody has Dominion because that's cool, cool, super cool. slick. Uh, I'm gonna roll C's. Let's see it. Uh -oh. oh, please, please, please. Oh, Whew. halfway there, oh. but not halfway close enough. All right, we will see you shortly. Indeed. Cool. Stop happening. Shit, son. Here we go. 
Hello! Welcome! We're back! Oh, it's uh, halfway through turn one. Est is going down. Actually, not much happened. I'll go through it really quick. We'll start with movement. Everybody just sort of move forward towards this little cluster in the corner here. These guys are all mixed up. This ended up being a Skyfire, which would be great if they could shoot. Um, everybody else, I mean, there's not really a lot to tell. These guys are moving in. They didn't really have any line of sight. The Dreadnought alone stayed the position and fired at the Turbagon. So we'll just go right into the shooting phase because movement was pretty uneventful. That's Brian. Say hi, Brian. Yeah, I just got out of the shower. I'm all fresh and powdered up, baby. You powder your ball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Nothing, psychic. Nothing psychic. Right, I'm skipping. Not much happened in the psychic phase either. We, we did actually do one awesome thing, which I'm hoping is going to play out well. The Exocrine over here took a paroxysm from the zoanthrope that you were just filming. He happened to be within 24. Lowered his ballistic skill by 2, so if you stay put, that's BS2. If you move, it's BS1, baby. Here's something that makes a difference. Everybody else was either out of range or useless. The horror isn't going to help with all the synapse. Onslaught didn't really do any good, so... We did peril. Both. The Hive Tyrant and the Zoa. Tyrant passed his leadership test and barely skated through. Zoa took a wound. Kind of sucks because he only has two. What are you going to do? <laughs> Shooting phase. Dreadnought fired at the Turbagon. Scored two wounds. Booyah. Twin linked Laz and Auto Cannon will do that. The Hive Tyrant fired at the happy little Biovore. Killed one. I kind of needed that because I have a taco that says I have to kill at least one unit. Everybody else just ran for it. They're running in. Nobody was either in sight or range, so that's it, man. No, no assaults. That scored theoretically two tacos, but I guess we find out at the end. And Jimbo's up. Uh, let's see. Make sure the white Tyranids. That Tyran on Tyran action is not as quite as... Uh, that would be way more eventful. So, uh, all of the Turva, Termagons and the Turbagon move forward. Uh, she actually did menopause, which is the first time ever in the history of owning that freaking model. She's not menopause on me in the turn one. So she actually crapped out a good 13, a nice 6-4-3 action, no doubles. Uh, they came out, shot at this tyrant, these guys shot at this tyrant, these tyrants shot at that tyrant. Everybody unloaded everything, and we haven't rolled a grounding check. Oh, that's right. Let's do that right now. Live. Yeah. And Fuck. Grants. That's a roll. Uh, uh, That's a strength uh, I hit. So roll a one, hopefully. He has a wound, so and, he's one and, and he's down. I'm going to fix this because I didn't assault because I was waiting for him to fall. So I'm going to assault you now. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, dude. Cool. Do it live. Just let's, do it live. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah, Overwatch. Five, right. six. News for getting something. Ten. Twelve. I need like a one. Yeah, I'm good. I got ten to assault. I'm in. Twin lane? Yeah. Oh, sixes. I know we're going to do that. We have a few. Well, we have two. Two. But let's roll that again, shall we? Is that everything? Except for my... Twin lane. Does it make any difference if I kill four of you in your charge distance? Hmm? I guess not. Not really, no. The squads are kind of melted together. So that's on twos. And three go down. No AP, so I get saved. And I get three go down. <laughs> so the closest to him doesn't matter because they're there still. They're in. Oh dear, look at wow. that stuff. Look at him, he's in. Oh, they're all in. They're all so excited and they want to do this. This is incredibly bad. Because I lose my turn. Yeah, dude, you're not getting up in the sky. Screw that. Alright, so you killed three. I have seven left to do stuff at 14 attacks. Um, initiative. I'm gonna go first, I think. I, I have four? And you have... Four or five. Probably four. <laughs> Same as your guy. Wow, are you still filming? Yeah, one more. Go, go first. exciting. How many? Four? Four attacks? You go first. Right, but how many attacks? Uh, he has... I see what you're saying. I believe he has four. Yes, I know. Okay! One miss on probably twos. He's pretty strong. Three are dead. Because we have you too, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Actually, I'm just going to pull this from the back. Woo -woo. <laughs> Damn, that sucks so hard. 
Alright, so you actually put it down to four. You need to allocate those guys to the proper location with their squad, and it's only four left holding him in place. Thank you! Thank you, little Contis! So it's actually eight attacks. Or, hmm. That's sad. That went down quickly. Roll right here. Yeah, I got it. Alright, come on! Dude, if they come kill on. him, I will... I don't know what I'll do. I'll have a little meltdown on camera. How does that sound? Three. It's not looking good. Eh. Would you get three hits? Mm. And then toughness six. You're wounding on... Can you even wound me? Six! One wound! One wound. Now! Are you sure? If you have threes... If, I, if you're strength three and I'm toughness three, that's on fours. So strength four would be fives. Or toughness four would be fives. Toughness... Five would be sixes. Toughness six, you cannot harm. Would be sixes as well. Really? Sixes. Okay. So it I'll take a, a, while a three up save. Yep. Hallelujah. Well, it's right in there. That was uh, his honor te honorable attempt. Dude, no, that was incredibly important because I don't get to attack you now, and when I get out of combat in the next phase, I will be on the ground. Which is like, fuck me. It's not going to work out very well. No, not at all. Why don't you get to attack? Because I'm now stuck in combat. My turn. Well, aren't you going to attack back right yeah, now? Yeah, but at the end of my turn, we get out of combat, and then I'm on the ground. And I don't get to psychic like, scream, I don't get to shoot. It's very bad. So to finish the turn, these Termagants went straight at the brood, brood Lord and his dudes, shot off a couple, actually two of them before they entered combat, did no wounds, took a lot of wounds, tied them up, did their work. A lot of, uh, everybody else fired at the Hive Tyrant. Lots, like, I, let's see, uh, I don't know, 50 some shots yeah, it was a Tyrant. Lot. And it only dropped him down half-life. Um, everybody over here unloaded on the Gaunt Squad. All of this bombardment just boop, 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 boop. Started to do some work to the Gaunts. I think half their life. <laughs> right? Like half how many there were there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There were 18. And, you know, that's quite a few, but they're fearless, so they'll stay put. So there's 18 and there's 7, so 11 are dead. Yes, due to that age. That's not bad. Um, and that's it. Uh, the, the... Yeah, that was already rolled. And we both got two tacos. Both got our two tacos. tacos, so we're tied. I got a question about tacos. What up? Tactical objectives. So, so where do you get the, mm -hmm. the code, taco? Well, it'd be, oh, right. Because we're in king. Tactical objectives. Oh. So, taco. Tac, tac, oh, tac, tac. Oh, yeah. But I didn't talk about that. Let's see, tac, We're going to keep calling them taco. So it's it's capital O. T A C capital O. Yes. Not T A capital O. I don't know. Yes. Yes, that's what he says. Yeah. Alright, so uh, looking yeah. pretty good. That tyrant's that tyrant's toast. Yeah. It's done. Thank you. It's done so wrecked. We're tied all up. Well, as far as uh, psychic, I guess the last mention is that they are rocket fuel okay between them. Benny was denied. Wow. Right. We will see you guys in a minute. Oh hey everybody. Okay. Midway through two. Holy crap. S is going down. I think I say that a lot. Movement phase. Shit. We have got... Yes, thank you, Brian. Everybody kind of just plowed forward. I mean, you can just basically scan the battlefield and see. These guys actually didn't move. They stay close and they get a clear shot. We'll get to the shooting phase later. These little fellows are trying to pony up into the building. They're getting there. Um, did we do this objective on camera? I don't remember. Yeah. It's okay. It's rerolling once in the shooting phase. Movement is self-explanatory. Everybody's moving this way. I shouldn't have to really go over that too deeply. In the psychic phase, kind of got boned because my flyer was stuck in combat. Could have been worse though. We got both Zoas. This actually is important for movement. They got close to the Skyfire Nexus, giving them both a decent chance at taking out a Flyrand. One of them did get his shot off. Hit, caused a wound, didn't ground, could be worse. The other one was denied. That's what happens when you get lots of psychers all partying together. Shooting, not much going on. Dreadnought shot through the building, and I don't think he... Did he cause any wounds? Maybe one. He did. Okay. And... The Devastators caused a wound. Yep. So we're down to two. Awesome. These days are numbered, Turbagon. Keep pooping out guys in the meanwhile. If she doesn't menopause, she might My die. best shooter was stuck in combat. He's not anymore, but he was, which just totally boned me. Now he's on the ground, one wound left, just putting his ass out there. Sorry. I'm going to keep swearing. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Ass is not well, look at me say, ass, ass, bitch, whore. Just yeah. like, like, kind of shit. Um, yeah, it's a position. 
Uh, so not a lot of shooting going on. Everybody kind of ran. And in the assault phase, we finished up with the Gene Steelers. They killed their unit, which gives me a taco. Hooray. We are holding objective one still, which gives me a second taco. This guy got out of assault, which actually is tragic. If he just stayed locked in, I would have been really happy. That would have made my freaking day. Carnifex got in it. Killed four guys. Didn't take any wounds. He's looking good, though he's bogged down, but so what? He's you all up for in their face. We did, both failed. So there you have it. Uh, not a terrible turn, but things are getting interesting. I got four tacos and first blood. And you, I believe, are still at two. Heading up to four, probably at the end. We'll see you guys soon. That is at turn two. And, uh, woo. Yeah, dude. Oh, this is exciting. I'm, I, I have an erection. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't blame you. So, uh, I as, too am hard. <laughs> as far as things are concerned, movement wise, these guy, this moved over, pooped out seven more gaunts, menopause. Menopause? Turn two this time. Oh, yeah, he finally did it. But wow, what's he doing there? We'll get to that. So, these guys are now right in, in uh, range of That's the little squad that came Crusade out. Crusade objective. Trying to get over there. It did not explode. The these guys with the uh, exocrine turned. Actually, the exocrine turned and fired on the gene stealers. Yeah, the yeah, Blue Lord is now dead. That was my bad. And Should then be. this guy fired upon the, uh, between the death spitters and the barb strangler were able to kill both the zone throat and the remaining home guns. Done. It's gone. So that got me my tacos. So wait, 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 wait. wait. You killed the Horma guns with what? I wasn't paying attention. Even I, though you were shooting me. I, I shot at them with the death spitters. Right. them enough. But they were different units. The, the Zoa. What yeah. killed the Zoa? The bleed over from the Oh, last. template. Gotcha. Now I'm tracking. Sorry. Yep. Had a lot of whiskey. So this Not is really. gone. Yep. Lightweight. The rippers came down here. Rippers came down back there. Oh, damn. Uh, right back there. Yes. Yes, they're striking. Um, objective secured, huh? Yep. Okay. Um, the flyers flew over here. They had some choices. They were hoping that maybe this yeah. guy between his wow. electric shot breath, wow. his stinger salvo, and Assault could have finished him off. And, and the Termic got shot at him, too. Yeah. He, he just, like, scathed or uh, shrugged off. So they both had no choice but to fire at him. My God. It still did not kill him. Awesome. He's only at one wound between Phil yes. Pain and his base save. He is alive and well. And in combat, neither of these two caused a wound. Neither. They are just, they're, they're just in each other's faces. Yeah. Horrible, actually. I wish that had gone differently. Biovores. Did some sniping. First, they well, actually, the Bio Force only focused on the stack squad. Took out the grab gun and the sergeant. Wait, oh, oh. no, the sergeant's still there. Yeah, the sergeant's alive, but you killed the grab because I shouldn't have clustered them so close. And uh, as far as psychic is concerned, they have catalyst again. He attempted oh, the war yes. blast, got oh, denied. Yes. Denied thanks to some psychic magic from this guy. Um, and that's about it. Wow. So yeah, I scored two tacos and you scored two as well. So, so I, I have five because I had two for the first turn, two for the second, and first blood. Yeah. So four to five. This is an exciting game. <laughs> Hi. Whoa. Hey, everybody. We're back. That was quite a round. It is just insane. As always, we'll start with movement. Again, uh, not a lot going on. Most of the guys actually held still. This dude's backing up. I don't want to give anything away, but Jimbo already knows how this game is played, so I'll tell you my strategy. I'm just trying to get... I'm really, I want to protect this objective, but I'm trying to get away from these fly runs so he can't fly behind me. And I'm sure you're thinking it, so it doesn't matter if I say it. Ten armor, you gotta watch your butt. Your butt. Uh, everybody else, these guys moved up into their little cover zone, trying to get in the windows. These guys held still because they have heavy weapons. The uh, dev squad, that is. And then the other guys are moving out so they can get a nice line of sight. Didn't really make any difference. You got your cultists back here, who so far have done nothing. They are just desperately trying to get within 12 inches of the enemy deployment zone, which they succeeded in doing to score a taco. A delicious taco. Everybody else is stuck. He stayed put so that he could be within three of the Skyfire node. Not that that mattered, and they were all in combat. Explain Psychic to us. Psychic went crazy. We looked up the rules. We hashed it out, which you guys know how that goes. Nobody ever So knows. clarify what you learned. Well, I don't know. I'm still actually not clear if we're doing this correctly. The rule book is very strange, but... Talk it out. Initially, I fired the warp blast, and you used all your charges. I was trying to take him out of the sky, and I failed, because you used every charge you had to deny me, which was probably a good idea. But 
I don't know if you would have played things differently had you known that we would discover in the rulebook you are, now we think, allowed to cast a Nova Power if you are currently locked in combat, which the Hive Tyrant was. We agreed that that was Kosh, and he set it off, and within six inches, three squads actually took attacks. Look it up, it's a pretty sweet power. It's very strong, especially given that the Turbagon was a Psyker and got a negative three to his leadership. If you find out the rules on this, that makes a big difference in terms of how many wounds he took, which really didn't matter because he only had one left and his head exploded. So he's dead. Flyrant got out of combat and was able to shoot. Moving on to the shooting phase, that didn't matter. It totally sucked. He unloaded everything he had, snap firing because he's still on the ground, hoping the twin length 12 shots would get me something and I could ground this bastard. But he totally scathed through it. I think you did like a couple of saves that were fine. Everybody else over here, this squad, this squad, that squad, this guy, they shot everything they had at these two flyrants and did nothing. Oh no, that's not true. Did I give you a wound? No, I didn't. I didn't. No luck. Because of your feel no freaking pain. Yeah, feel no pain, baby. And they ran. They got within their little bit that they needed to get to the edge. And that was, there was also another rule learned. What's that? You only have to meet the A Mastery League cons. Oh, yeah. I'm... And warp charge dice. Yes, that was some confusion. Whether if your power is requiring two warp charges, if you get three, do you cast the power on... Is that a single I, success or is that... Yeah, exactly. And the way I understand it and the way it seems to read in the rule book, if you get two dice that are four or above, you are successful. And anything beyond that is just, like, bonus. You have to deny every single successful dice roll in order to deny the witch on that power. So if you roll three successful, you got to deny three. If you roll five, you got to deny five. Let us know if we're fucking stupid. We're not stupid, but let us know if we maybe made a mistake once in our lives, which we never have before. That would be the first time. Going into assault. Uh, this guy got out because the Turbogun died in the psychic phase. That was why he was allowed to shoot. Now he's stranded and grounded and probably going to die. The Carnifex killed no one. <laughs> Nothing happened either way. That's pretty sad. Yeah, just he's, hanging out with the Gaunts. How you doing, guys? He's very badly tar pitted, which I have to give you credit for. The brood, uh, Gene Steeler Brood made it in. Eight inch charge, killed two guys, they are now tar pitted, which actually I'm satisfied about because they can't get shot to death like they were going to in the next round. And we uh, are going on to explosion, didn't Oop. happen. How about the one over here? Uh, nope. Okay. Um, tacos, I scored two. One for having this objective. And you are no, currently the, scoring right, two. I'm in standing by, but probably going to, unless you wipe the squad out. And the other one was within 12 inches of your... So you either need to kill them just, and them. Just gotta shoot a couple in the front. We'll go way. over that at the end of the round. Alright. Awesome. It was end of turn to turn three. Sure it was. And uh, it was a good one. Oh man, not for me. It was a really good one. Whatever. The... Jeez, I don't even know. This guy turns the... He shot. He moved. Yeah. And he shot. <laughs> he killed a hot tire. Yeah, he Finally. did. Finally. Yeah. That AP uh, it was go. only a matter of time. Yeah. Um, these guys shifted over into the ruins. They unloaded hell onto the guys holding one yeah. of the tacos. Yeah, didn't see that coming. Yep. Uh, they Phrasing. Are they are dead after help from the hive tyrant who swooped over and was torn between either, oh. either killing the uh, dreadnought or taking tacos from his pocket. So I took tacos from his pocket. Too bad. Um... I tried to uh, warp blast with, I believe it was this one. He actually. died, yeah, he was warp blast, he was catalyst. So, catalyst you have. Yes, but he periled and Feel he took no pain. Oh, he did. Great. Um, Great. And the warp blast missed. Missed. Womp womp. Like, it was, it was good. I rolled successes on psychic and then a one for the ballistics check because, you know. So, dude, uh, we'll get to this in the next part of the phases, but you killed all my psychers. They're all gone. Oh dear, I did. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, oh, that's, oh, that's pretty oh, big. Oh my. Oh, so, yes, the Ripper Swarm over here assaulted and ate the lasso and threw up alive. It was tasty. Oh, You're tasty. Uh, uh, no home. This, this really didn't do anything except for the card effects. <laughs> Enough with the dread. Okay. <laughs> Oh, the, it's what the people want, I tell you. You're tasty. <laughs> <laughs> so offensive. Two, two die here from the uh, card effects. Yeah. Really earning his points this game. Uh, the, uh, the warriors moved up, jumped into combat. Oh, wow, they're in it. Uh, they killed one Gene Steeler. 
And right. one warrior took, like, what, two wounds? Two wounds. Schnikes. Yeah. Um, this tyrant, uh, I killed basically everybody over there. Mm, Not they, enough They to passed take the taco. their leadership test. So they didn't break and run. I was close. So, I was able to deny him one taco, which puts him at one successful taco to my two. Yes. I just slid ahead in the secondary. Okay, so you had two the first round, two the second, two the third. Plus, you killed my warlord is seven. This was the third. I only got, yeah, I got two, yeah. So, six to your, and I, I had warlord, so seven to six right now. I had, yeah, I had two, two, and one, because I got within 12 inches of your deployment, but I did not get the freaking objective that I record, deserved. If, if the game were to end, it would be three to one additional point. So I'm actually forty or three. Okay, gotcha. Whatever. That's right. You can you have tallies and then you have points. Oh Math. yeah, that's right. So you're not even winning secondary. I have four to your one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Four to your one. There it is. So right. we so know the rules. We got this. We're awesome. All right. So uh, yeah, we'll see where we're at. Okay, coming up. It's adventure time, Brian. That's mathematical. <laughs> okay. Yeah, <laughs> great. Uh, very quick round. We'll just make it lightning round here, man. Super fast. Hardly any movement. They stayed put. I was really praying that I would ground a fly rent, and I wanted their ballistic skill high, so I didn't move them. Maybe I should have. Whatever. These guys moved up to try and get closer in case of a grounding incident, as did they. Nobody got grounded. No psychic phase, because all my psychers are dead. Thanks a lot, Jimbo. Shooting phase. Everybody. Shot yeah, fuck you, at either him or him. Actually, I think they all shot at him. All this one guy. All I needed was a twin linked Laz to ground you and it would have been fine. Your stupid feel no pain actually <laughs> saved the day on that one. Or I could have totally at least gotten a wound. If he'd have come to the ground, I would have just ripped him apart. Uh, so bad. With four cultists? Yeah. No, I had marines, and these guys still all had to shoot. If I could have grounded him initially, I could have right. blown him away. But that's the round, man. That's the dice. Assault phase, I did do one thing right, and I scored two tacos by killing the gene stealers. There's still one guy left in there, and he killed a termagant, the last of his squad. So I rolled two that were the same to kill a unit, and since I killed a unit, I get them both. Carnifex is still locked, which actually I'm happy about because that means at the end of your turn he gets freed, which means I get to move instead of you just destroying me. So there we have it, dude. That was fast, and you're up, and I'm feeling pretty pretty dominated to try and keep it, the language clean. Here. But I have a lot of points. Sick. You have a lot of points. Things are going well. It's a very interesting game, and we're going to see how it ends here shortly. That was the end of turn four. It was. Holy crap. This game's going. Uh, it's speeding up now that everyone's dead. Tyrannids have just been mopping the field up. <laughs> against the Tyrannids. Oh, just mopping it. You see that mop motion? Mopping. Yes, we see the mop. Um, thanks, Carol Burnett. So the uh, tyrants decided to fly opposite of each other. Some sort of yeah, crisscross. <laughs> Gonna make you jump. He flew behind here. He cast his warp blast successfully. Popped a wound off his butt. He did indeed. And... Drop the last can. Yeah. That was really good. Not that it mattered, but yeah. Yeah. Excellent. And then he finished his fire uh, shooting phase his, and his took 12, out 12 shots in the rear armor. Did the trick. Dance about. Woohoo! Uh, he came over here. He catalyst himself. He turned around. He shot at the remaining uh, attack squad here. They are dead. They're quite gone. Which is good because. Holy shinmokies. Uh, the biovores obviously tried to do stuff, left remnants of their DNA all over oh, the field. Oh, gross. I know, right? It's so gross. <laughs> because they couldn't. Like actually... Bill Clinton up in here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, moving on. <laughs> Um, so the cultists are alive because yeah. they didn't take any bombardment. That they are. Um, these guys passed their synapse check. Son of a whore. Just stayed where they are because that's what rippers do. He decided to come out of hiding and challenge Mr. Carnifex. He came in. He popped a wound off him. Carnifex popped a wound off. They kind of so made out. they're stuck. They're locked. They made out for a bit. Yeah, they're having nasty buck time. Uh, go ahead and roll your regenerate, that's, please. That's really nice. Uh, it's at the end of my turn. Is it? I believe. I'll look it up. It's game turn. Okay, fine. Let's do it right now. It's, uh, oof. I want to say it's four up. Look it up. Four up, fool. That's a four. We're going to check the rule book. You want to do that live? I guarantee. Oh, right. You got the Terranid Codex right there. You know what? We'll do it in less than ten seconds, people. 
regenerate. Four plus. Because it used to be you rolled every wound on a five up, and now you roll a single wound. It's not in the tier. Whatever. Maybe it doesn't exist anymore. No, it does. Well, we can get back to you on that. No, it's definitely in the tier and rule book. It's not in the tier book. All right, you look in that book, and I'll look in this book. Let's do the books. Are you looking in books? Yeah. Looks at books. It's like reading Rainbow up in here. I'm, I'm just kind of filming your, yeah, you're right. your profile. You're right. It's not in this book. Biomorphs. Here we go. Oh, Bio dude. artifacts. Wings. Toxin. Regen. Four plus. Four plus. There it is. Heard it. Mr. Artifacts is back to full health. Okay. Cool. Um, and the assault over here was resolved with the Tyranid Warriors wiping out that final gene state. They did indeed, giving you a taco. Because you. Right? Did I have to unit? No, you had uh, none of mine. I had to get rid of him because he was within my deployment zone. That's right. That's just great. Done three of my one. units, one of his. Yeah. Oof. Is it three of yours? Is it three? Yeah. Is it? Oh, maybe we are not having tacos for dinner. One shot. This is why it's not shot more than one shot. Three value. scoring units. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. son of a bitch. Yeah, son. Son. Whatever. Wait, scoring units. Oh, because they're all scoring units now. Broken. Broken rules. <laughs> um, yeah, this didn't go off, and that's about it. Pretty pretty quick. Alright, we'll be back. Okay, quick turn. Quick turn four. We're hanging on by a thread. We've got three units left. The cultists move to the objective. The dev squad moved to this objective. No psychic phase. They ran two inches. They're barely within range to hold it. These guys fired everything they had in the rear of the hive tyrant and failed to wound. That's what's gonna happen. The Carnifex in the assault phase had to kill one measly termagon. One! One! And I would have gotten two tacos for it. And he freaking could do And you fucked that up! Not my fault. Thanks for swearing though. <laughs> Uh, That's it, man. I got what were your dice rolls? Tacos? Uh, I rolled three dice, and I had a one, a two, and a three. I needed four, so two hits. That's yeah, rough. A Carnifex is a, a close combat beast that can't get shit done. Cool. What, what are your strategies on the uh, Well, the tacos, uh, the Carnifex itself, I was actually not expecting to fight Tyranids, and they're tank eaters. Plain, plain and simple. Plain and simple. They got armor bang? Mm, I don't know. But they are strength. It doesn't matter. Yeah, they're strength eight, nine. Eight, nine. Four attacks. I'm pretty wow. sure. I don't That's know the rules that well. Yeah, they're picked up on that. They're strength nine. That's okay. Chris is our resident uh, fluff player, as you can tell. He likes to take uh, cool lists with some great fluff yeah, behind it. He, like, he writes a lot of his own fluff for our, for our BafflementSector.com. I need to get back on that. But yeah. yeah. And the, the dude should have killed one freaking turn So it goes. That would have been... Two tacos denied. I got nothing this round, but this is turn five. He's gonna do his dirty, and at the end, we'll see who's left alive. And how many objectives are held? You're cool. Is he in turn five? Yep. Yep. If we come down here, we see that the hive tyrant has nullified the existence of the cultists. He did. Kill Paul. <laughs> Didn't even let the the swarmers do any work. Aww. He came over here, he tried to do some moves, took two of them, or three of them down. Two died. Two died from his efforts. Uh, the Biovores unloaded on them, uh, killed one more, I think. No, Spore Mine, here and here. We're using the, uh, what do you call it, proxies, because, you know. Right us mines. Um, then the, these guys fired upon them, did no wounds, but they failed their leadership. They are running back. They, they are no longer are, objective. Because they lost two, and they, I rolled a nine. What do you know? So, yeah, your, your Ripper Swarms, you roll fours, and they stay where they're at. Yeah. But my guys, who yeah. are like almost fearless, roll a nine. So I got my taco over here, and I got a taco for killing an enemy unit by destroying okay. this uh, cultist group. Okay. Um, okay. As far as assault goes over here, he decided to finish the job and kill the Termagon. So I got two my tacos. two tacos. Yay! Uh, still ahead of the tacos. You are. And as it stands, I hold one objective Correct. in the primary to his none as he's fleeing. Yes. And, you, yeah, I was holding two and he wiped me out and he got me broken. That's pretty good work there, Jim. So as you can see, the only reason I'm winning primary is because he's running. Right. Yeah. Secondary is only being won by, like, literally a taco. Right one taco. It's a tight game. And in, in, in the, uh, the tertiary, <laughs> we both are tight. <laughs> so, do you want to roll to see if it's over? Yes. Okay. Live. Just so you know, on the download, my mom has the biggest dick. Hey guys, we're filming. FYI. We got, we got it all. 
Let's go. It's it's uh Good. Warhammer Confessions. Mom has a penis. Okay, this is this is to up. end the game the on a one or a two. Do it. Play. And the game is over. Wow. Good so job. That, that is a victory. Primary, that is, is a victory one. for Jimbo here. The primary was worth Four, Four points. points. Excellent. I got the secondary, which was worth three points, and I got one in the the uh, the tertiary, so I got eight. Here. You want to hold that? Yeah. Let's I just, think. What's that give you? That gives you one point. Or something, I got right? eight to uh, his. I got one. Who got first blood? Me. Okay. He's got one. He's got one point. One point. He's got such a big game. All right. Uh, do we have any more to wrap up? Or are we good? Like that is yeah. it! That is a crushing Tyranid and it gets Tyranid victory! Well done, Mike. Boom! Ah! Ah! Your tentacles were stronger than his! Yes. It only took like nine yes. hours. Hey, that was a good that was, that was a six. Thanks. Thanks, Brad. Is it seven? No! It was five seven hours. hours. Yeah. It was five hours. Four and a half. Ah, it was only like four and a half. forever. Thank God for four months. That's how long we should have been. Woo! That's what they say on reading great books.